Hello and welcome to episode 6 of my EverQuest 2 tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on doing a bit of adventuring in a couple of other low level zones as we are still only level 7 in adventuring. I've managed to get my trade skill level to 19 just by simply doing the trade skill quests and dailies in Frostfang Sea. So I'm going to stay at level 19 um, trade skilling until I've got my adventuring to match that as in level 20 because once you reach level 19 in trade skilling you only need to talk to the trade skill uh, trainer and then you'll and choose a, pro a further pro progression with your profession and you will then hit level 20 in trade skilling so I'm putting trade skilling on hold for a bit I think it's time that we did a bit more adventuring as there are lots of wonderful zones to show in beautiful EQ2. Now I wanted to show starting this episode from the bell. One quick thing to show which was mentioned by someone was the fact that you can suspend your um, your mercenary and so thereby save money. Now I mean I've got plenty of money but I must presume that a lot of you out there that are just starting to play have no money so once you've hired your mercenary what you can do is left click this button to suspend the mercenary it brings up this warning letting you know that if you suspend the mercenary you will have to wait one minute before you can bring them back well that's okay we can wait one minute so I'll say yes the mercenary disappears now to get the mercenary back when you're ready to get your merc back Press the C key to bring up your character sheet, go to mercenary and in 47 seconds time a button will enable for us to bring him back but I'm in no rush for that. Okay now I thought I would show you um, from the bell because that's how you'll know to get back and forth to Greater Fey Dark where we are. Um, so I thought it would be simple to show from there. Okay so the first low level new zone that I want to show you is over towards this direction so what we're going to do is use the local transporter for Kelefin and we're going to go to the old Kelefin Orchid Acorn Lift so double click that that will take us across this uh, tree town and put us near the main lift for this side for getting in and out of this area of the tree village now some of you will have to use the lift which is down there below us, but we can't see it. That's okay, I don't need to, because I'm an erudite. So I'll just jump. If I turn around, there's the lift there, and it's going up. Well, that's all good. So for us, though, we want to get to a lower level zone, because this zone, we're, what we're in, is about level 10 to 20, I believe, or 10 to 15. So we need to get through this one to get to the zone I actually want to show you. So we'll go over here, heading towards these buildings. We just walked around this huge tree, basically. And it will take us to the area where if you start as a Fey, then this is one of your start areas. We just discovered an area, we've got a bit of XP. Okay, to get there, we need to go through this tunnel. Oh, let's run a bit quicker, why don't I? When you use the speed boost to run, notice it uses up your mana in order to fuel it. Once your man mana runs out, you'll stop running quickly. But it's very handy to have if you want to get away from mobs, monsters, or if you just want to get somewhere quicker in order to show like I do, at least until we have a mount. We can get our first horse mount back in Kelefin, but I'm actually not going to bother with the horse mount. Because the mount I like is the jumping mount, which we will get to eventually. But uh, it's a trade skill mount that I shall be getting, so we need to get our trade skill up. Anyway, carrying along this path, you'll notice over here, 
we get to an area of the phase. And when you start, like I say, as a fate, this is where you zone into the game, the nursery. So they're all really low level creatures and here will be your first quest. So let's get it. Okay, so let's do this infestation. Kill Shrumbler Hatchlings. <clears throat> now, we don't. Need, I don't need the Merc to do this zone because they're very low monsters, but by having the Mercenary it will speed it up. So to bring the Merc back we just left click summon your active Mercenary. There we are. I was ch charged 80 copper, but then, like I say, I've got a lot of money so it doesn't matter. Okay, anyway, so this is the quest we need to do. Kill Strumbler Hatchlings and we can see by the feather now that's new, they've put a, um, a voyage bell here, I've never seen that here before, wow. Well that's handy, that'll save a lot of time, fantastic. Like I say, all the in my break from EQ2, I keep seeing improvements, it really is so cool. Anyway, let's kill this, uh, these, uh, what we need to. Basically, I just need to tack them and my uh, tracker will do the rest. Nice and simple quests to start with, as you'd expect, and will slowly get more difficult. You won't be seeing me dying just yet, I hope. Okay, so that's done. Let's report back. Let's carry on. And we'll get another quest. So, collect these herbs. Now, if I can remember correctly, and if they haven't changed the quest, they should be dotted around the outskirts of this area. Yep, there's one. Okay, so let's now go back and update the quest. Okay, so carrying on. Okay, now we've got to speak with the sentry, so we'll walk along this path and we see on the mini map top right corner it's telling us where we need to go. Also we can see the book above their head. Okay, so we'll talk to these. Aren't you glad to see me? Okay, now another quest. Uh, we need to kill two wasp foragers, which are over here. It's always worth looting all the creatures because not only do you get stuff to sell but you will also get other special items. So always remember to loot. Okay, we need two more which are over here. <clears throat> this is a zone where people back in the day, back in the old days when like the first few years of VQ and they started up the collections, this would be the zone that people would go to to get the rare components for collections and then make a lot of money by selling them collection components in the trader, on their traders. And so you used to see a lot of people come to this zone doing that. Okay, let's hand in. Aren't you glad to see me? Uh, 
Okay, now next quest. Now we need to get these blooms, which are over this way. Okay, well that was nice and simple. As you can see, nothing too difficult to start you off, uh, but it will progressively get somewhat more difficult. But because I've got a mercenary, because I've got a pet, um, things should remain okay. As in, I should be able to kill all the monsters I need to. I won't go hunting any extra hard, difficult ones. Aren't you glad to see me? Because I, until I'd upgrade, I'd need master or need to upgrade all the spells and skills. But for now, I've upgraded them all to journeyman. So, which I advised you to do in the trade skill area. Once you've done that, you can pretty much kill everything at your level. Okay, so let's carry on. Okay, so we need to go back now and uncork this bottle of this vial. Okay. There we go. That's all we had to do. Now I can go back. Aren't you glad to see me? Okay, do another quest. Okay, so now we have to report to another sentry, which is over here. Basically, once I hit level 8, then we'll go to another zone and take a look. As you can see, this zone is very pretty over in Greater Fadar. They are lovely, lovely zones. Okay, so let's talk to this one. And we've got to speak, uh, climb this tree to speak to another scout. You just walk into this and keep walking forwards and you will climb up the tree. So it's very simple to do. Okay, there we are. Let's talk to this scout. And now we can just hop off and go back. See how handy that um, slow fall is? Right, so now we've got to come over here and kill some scouts. And we might get some markers from them to learn their language. See, between my pet and and the uh, ranger, the, the poor goblins don't stand much chance. And I do like the fact of playing a caster because I don't have to run up to every single mob monster to attack them. I can just simply cast from a distance, thereby not getting my armor damaged, which is good. And one more. Okay, that's this quest done. Let's go back. This is a nice zone to quest in, but not my favourite. I 
think I prefer Frostfang C as it's more open and easily to see everything. Still, we're nearly level 8, so let's do another one. Okay, now I need to go back to this pond and get a sample and kill four of these polluters. like a pincushion once my ranger gets them in their sights. It's funny though, I don't seem to see my pet doing much. There we go, level 8. Now that we've gained a level, we can move on to another zone. Um, now, one thing just to mention, with different creatures, when you loot them, you can get these treasured items uh, which are lore and legend quests and um, basically by collecting it, all the different items of that particular creature you will be able to learn their language so what we do we will loot this bring up our pocket double click on it and accept the quest it's a lore and legend for goblins and then that way in future whenever we kill a goblin and get one of these items it will automatically as soon as we loot all be added to this we won't have to uh, keep clicking on them so that's the rest of the items we need so just to maybe show you if we kill a couple of these I'm not going to get any experience but we might get one of the items There we go, do you see I just got uh, one. I don't know what it was that I got, maybe if I look down here it'll tell me, or maybe it won't. But anyway, so there we are, as you kill further goblins you'll, un you'll get more of the, you'll get a tooth, claw, all the rest of the items needed to complete that quest. Complete that lore and legend and then you'll learn the gold goblin language and that's one of the things I love about EQ the fact that loads of different creatures have that and you can learn their languages ah right okay so the last thing I need to do is collect a sample from the pond down there just walk into the pond click on the vial and there we are Okay, let's go back see the sentry. Well and there we are. Okay, so that's Greater Fade Art. What I'll do is I'm going to remove that so it doesn't take up all my quest space. And now we're head to another area. So that's a bit of this area. Oh, there's one other last thing I'll show you in this zone whilst we're here, which is a quest that. Uh, is not given to you it's somewhat hidden so if you want to do extra quests they're all around you in EQ2 not all the quests are given by someone an NPC with a feather over their head some quests are as you would expect need to be uncovered so if we walk down here to this beach you will see what I'm talking about in a moment first of all let's collect this see what it is oh new collection okay now if we walk along this beach over here we're gonna see a little bottle and it's the start of a quest unless of course they've removed it which I don't think they've done ah oh, here it is okay so if we left click on it you see it gives us a new quest and there is a story to it I won't waste your time in reading all of the story but it's a good little side quest that you can do so I should investigate under the water which I believe is 
somewhere over here. Oh no, wait a minute, this quest pointer is telling us that it's here, I believe. Yeah, so a worn chest. Click on that. And now it's telling us we need to go over there. Let's run over there because it would be much quicker. So you'll find loads of quests like this that are hidden and you really need to in every quest to examine everything because you'll find there are a lot of hidden items in the game and that's one of the things I love about EverQuest and EverQuest 2 all the little hidden secrets that are there okay ah here's the remains so we click on them and now I need to go back to that chest so let's get out the water and run back and get the chest open. There we go. So, all right, I'm not getting a huge reward, but for doing hardly anything, I've got some experience, and, uh, and I think I like to boost my stamina for now, so I'll take that one. But there we go, that quest is now completed. Right, let's move on to a new zone. So there's just one of the hidden quests that you can find by investigating and examining all the different little items around in the world. It's a very massive world to explore. There are a huge amount of secrets hidden within it. And so I strongly encourage you to explore and adventure around because you will have a lot of fun in EverQuest 2 doing that. Um, but we're going to go now to another new area, another low area that you can spawn in depending on what class and race you choose. Okay, so we're going to run back to the bell, which is the new bell that is, that's been put over here. That is so handy that they did that. You used to have to walk all the way back to Caledon or port back to where you've uh, bound yourself. Okay, so now we're going to go take a look at Tumultuous Deep. So let's go there. Okay, now just like with Kellerton, we need to now get to the start area because it's just loaded us into um, the main area you travel to when when you when you're roaming around the world but we of course want to get to the Hello. the lobby area so we'll use this guy and we will go to this one you have to forgive me it has been a few years i have had a couple of years break or i've had a long time break from everquest 2 so i'm just slowly remembering the game as we go through it which is nice I do love playing EverQuest 2 and I have had far too long a break from it so it's time for me to get another character to a hundred or maybe a few I do like the transport system as well in this game as you can see you can't beat riding on the back of a griffin and this gives you an idea of the size of the game as well it is absolutely massive.
So we can get all the way up to adventure level 20 in this area. And what I will basically do is just keep going until the timer goes. So we can see how much uh, I can get done in that time, which I don't imagine to be too much. I'm trying to get it to 30 minutes, but in my normal style, I forgot to set the timer right at the beginning. So I believe we've got about another 10 minutes to go. But as you can see, it's a lovely, lovely, beautiful game. And of course, with all the new areas you can start in, you can, like I do, hop between them to skill up. You don't have to stay in one, one area, one zone. You can go exploring the whole world. As long as you don't go roaming through none of the really high-level zones, you will be fine. And we're nearly there. And this is the area you can spawn into, uh, again, dependent on your race and uh, class, I believe. And there we are. And where you zone in is just over here. So you'll start fresh on this beach. So what I'll do is start doing some of the quests. Finally, a new recruit. Eager. That's good. No hesitation. Okay, so just got to kill some of these Hororan poachers. Okay, there we are, that's done. Continuing on. Remember, as you do the quests in the different areas, you'll also be getting factions. Have you slid their gizzard? Good start. But if you believe... Oh, now I haven't gotten so far as figuring out any of that. Good. Okay, so, so the next quest, I need some samples of ore from the mining. So what I'm going to do is just well quickly met. grab all of the quests. Uh, another one, stuff gorge your claws. And we'll grab that quest as well. Okay, so that's just talking to this Ixar. So that was nice, quick, easy to do. Let's go over here and get this quest as well. May as well do all of the uh, quests. Hello, merely fishing. I was stationed here. Great, you can find them all around us. Ah, right. So I've got to do a bit of fishing, which is okay. You can catch a rare fish over here as well, which I think he gives us a quest um, in the quest chain. But we'll see, it's been too long since I've done this area. Right, and there we are, that's the first one done. Did you catch them? Great! It's a pity you didn't fish up any bull sulfin, however. I appreciate it. Okay, now I think he's asking me to go get a ball sorting. Now I'm not sure if that was the rare one, but let's just keep fishing and see what we can get. Oh, right, okay, I've got them already. 
Ah, this is great. Did you catch one yet? Nice work. You're a natural. Okay, so that's it. All done. Okay, let's go over here. I need to get some grit gorgeous claws. Which should be down here. Also over this way is the other quest that I've got for the miners. Yeah, I do like playing the summoner. Has to be one of my favourites. And the necromancer, they're also a lot of fun as well. Although I'd say to you to try all of the different classes because they're all fun. Okay, so now I need to go up here. And I need to grab some samples from these rocks, if I remember correctly. Yeah. See, notice I don't understand what they say. But if I did a uh, lore and legend on them, I would be able to understand what they're saying. And I think that's just so cool. You can actually go to someone and learn languages, but it costs a lot of money. There we go. Both quests are done. I'll go back now and hand in. <clears throat> Going to the new areas has the added benefit, of course, of being able to do these quests, the daily objectives. Um, unexplored locations I've got. And slaying different types of creatures okay so let's hand in do you have the ore? that's the way to do it well now let's have a look this only some okay and hand in this one did you get it? our troops will be pleased I need thank you okay so we've got two new quests which I believe are, oops, one's over here. Hello. Ah, oh, great, thank you. That dry sock, always out to make something. Okay, so that's done. Now we just need to go over and hand in the other quest which should be over here, at the top of this hill. And you can see there's a whole new bunch of quests that uh, I can get around this area. So let's hand in and grab the quests. Hail. So, time. <laughs> then. And what I'll do is just grab them all. Greetings. I am Tertiary Mac. Could you? That would help me greatly. And this one. Greetings. And I think there's one more over here. Greetings. Welcome and basically what I do village. is I'll work my way Great, through the whole of this area doing all of the quests and once I get to level 10, then usually what I do is I will switch to another low zone and do complete all the quests in Frostfang, for example, or Kelefin. And once I've got them completed, then I'll put it back to a normal adventure experience and carry on leveling to 20. Um, all the start areas, as you can see, now have banks. So it's handy for if you want to keep storing stuff that you've got. And also they also they have traders as well. 
Well, I shall leave leave it here because I believe I've been recording now for about 30 minutes. So I don't want to make the, the, the episodes much longer than that. Otherwise it takes too long to upload and plus be too big for you to watch. So I hope you've enjoyed our, us doing a bit of adventuring. In the next episode, um, what I will do is we will move on to the next zone up. So the level, the level 10 to 20 adventure zones. Uh, we've had a look at the level 1 to 10, three of them. There are lots more, but I don't want to ruin all the fun for you. I want you to be able to do a bit of exploring of zones that I've not shown you. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.